this power mill quick tip video, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a toolpath that I've calculated, which is the Z level finish toolpath. And we're going to go ahead and use some of the edit functionality within power mill to correct some of the things in this toolpath that I may want to alter. Now, looking at this toolpath, I've got some things set, like the tilt angle position is ready to go, and it's, it's machining generally what I want. However, the toolpath has added a few areas that I don't want to machine, as well as it's going from one direction and repositioning the tool several times. And I want to kind of get rid of that and have this maybe machine both ways. Now in the toolpath, there's really not an option if I've selected the tilt angle position to machine a back and forth direction. So what I can do is use a toolpath edit functionality. The toolpath edit functionality we're looking for is located within the toolpath edit tab. And to start this out, what I think I'll do is I'll delete some of the toolpath that I don't want. And you can do that very simply by just clicking delete selected. And Power Mill just gets rid of that toolpath. Now, alternately, what I might want to do is I might want to use a limit functionality. The difference between the two is that sometimes Power Mill will not remember upon recalculation that it deleted a segment of the tool as it's recalculating everything within a boundary that it's machined. So limit becomes the tool that I want to use if I want it to remember this edit and recalculate the edit after the toolpath has been recalculated. With the limit tool, what I'm going to actually use is a polygon. The polygon is the most flexible edit tool as far as limiting a toolpath, as it allows us to basically sketch or draw our own boundary around what we want to limit. And in this case, I'm going to limit everything inside of this selected region of my polygon. And I can continue selecting points, and the polygon can get bigger and encompass more area. Now, for this particular toolpath, I want to keep the outside. So as far as what I want to save from the toolpath, I'll change this to the outer portion of it. I'm going to delete the original toolpath, and I'm going to hit Apply. And as you can see, it deleted the rest of that section. Now, as far as alternating directions, the Edit tool that I'm going to use is actually in the Reorder function. And within the Reorder function, if I guide myself down the left-hand panel here, you can see at these different buttons, they do different things. Remember never to hesitate to hover over something to see what it does within Power Mill. And I have down here this kind of arrow backwards and forwards is my alternate directions. If I click that, it'll tell me that it's going to edit the toolpath orientation. And you'll see here what it has done is created a back and forth motion within this toolpath. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this just to make sure that it's done what I want. And you'll see here that I'm getting a more smooth toolpath, moving back and forth, cutting in both directions using that alternate function. I hope you find this Power Mill Quick Tip helpful, and thank you for watching.